enemy. By now, there's nothing more for me to say. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Uh-huh. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. I still don't know what to make of Monomi. That's you know me. why I'm gonna fight too. I will fight the only way I can. I'm gonna show that guy my fearsome retaliation. That's basically it. Okay. So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Well, with that. Yeah. Hello, I am the Dark Fae, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Let's just jump into the second half of this trial, shall we? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Other possibilities? Poison! If something other than the spear killed Nagito, all I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... Yeah, only Chiaki and Hajime would think about something else because they were the that only ones in the room. a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Hmm... If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... What is? Hmm... Are we finished already? I feel like... It's possible that we overlooked something. Overlooked, huh? Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly! We should cooperate at a time like this. Teamwork, guys! A fatal wound that wasn't the spear. We don't even know if it actually exists, but if it does, we need to find out what it is no matter what. And one of these two. Gotta be. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? Oh, oh god, my health is so low because of that stupid wounds, right? hangman's gambit. With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled to death. No. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Yes. I agree with that. First try. Unlike that's a lot, it. look, that's totally rarity in these. Possibility. If the cause of death was something we can't see. Then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Poison? It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? Because here's a clue that we didn't share with you guys that we found. I remember when I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. A bottle of poison that you could only read when it was up to your face like this. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. What are other poisons made for? I guess there can be some that like, like incapacitate you or like paralyze you. But aren't most poisons I guess they're just generally not good for you. I guess not all of them will kill you, but... I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If, if poison was the cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. He knows that. Is that why he stopped himself? I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What does that mean? But, even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? I mean, also the fact that he's clothed. Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still... Both of Nagito's hands were full, so how would he drink poison? His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow-acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. That's actually a pretty smart 
thought. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. I forgot about that detail, though. <laughs> then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. Uyuhiko, again with the lack of imagination. And this is when the hard tail appears. And Akane just like, is obsessed with dicks. You're totally overvaluing that tail. Maybe you're not valuing it, uh, it enough, but actually, no, Kazuichi, you value it maybe a little too much, too. His mouth was covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink poison, how'd he get it past his lips? So, with the spear dangling, you've got the bottle of poison <laughs> just hanging from it as you hoist it up and pours it into his mouth. <laughs> if there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. You're missing another key fact. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? You guys really don't have much reading comprehension, do you? Hell no. No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear. Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Didn't we just have this conversation? Operation elimination method. The hints should yeah. be written on the poison's warning label. Yep. Maybe. Like, uh, you just read it like a minute ago, and then you already forgot what it said? The way the poison entered Nagito's body, the answer is written on the warning label? Oh gee, I wonder what it is. Oh. Oh, logic dive? You're making me logic dive this obvious bullshit? Swear, if one of them moves and hits me, I'll be really mad. Oh god, don't make me jump. Whatever you do. I don't want to jump. Okay. What state was the poison in when it affected Nagita? It was a gas. I knew things were going to pop out of nowhere. Oh, come on. I did not hit that. Maybe just like the very edge. Just let me go already. Let me... Let me answer the goddamn questions. Logic dive shit is so stupid. I hate it. Question two. What, how did the poison? Through his nose, I guess. God, that's so dizzy. That was it? You made me logic dive for those two very obvious points? It's all coming together. Okay. What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose! He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? The reason we didn't breathe in the poisonous gas. I should be able to explain that mystery too. Smoke? Oh, the sprinklers. I thought... I thought it meant that like because of the smoke we didn't go inside. Crap! I'm stupid. I see! The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas.
The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. Oh, I forgot. In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes and is susceptible to hydrolysis. That's right. So it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Of course! Hydrolysis! The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! Yeah. Also, the poison is apparently denser than air. So it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. But Nakito was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? But where did the poison come from? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death was poisoning. Dun dun dun. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? What do you mean, so what? That changes the whole fucking, the, all the parameters of the, of the case. In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already. Oh, Soda, are you the traitor? Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. But how would he... I don't understand, like, how they don't understand that it doesn't make sense. Like, there's no way he could have prepared this poison, done all of that, and then inhaled it. And I'm... All right. All the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? Uh, well, but... What? There's still more? Where did the poison come from, you idiots? I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagato's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Of course not. Is that really okay? His goal was to end this. Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nagito's motive. Nagito's malice. Is this really okay? Can we really finish this here? I get it. We can't. No, that can't be. There might have been... an accomplice. Huh? Oh, you guys. Ch Chiaki? What did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. If Nagito really brought poison to the warehouse, then the thing that would have been left behind is the container that's on the bone. Like the first one. Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah. If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? He can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? Not if it's instantly lethal. Yeah, that was written on the warning label. Keep this liquid secure by securing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. The container probably melted in the fire. It's probably plastic or glass, right? Yeah. There's no way it'd completely incinerate. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Hint, 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 hint! Wink, 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 wink! Nudge, oh, nudge! Does that mean someone got rid of the container? No. So that's why you mentioned an accomplice! That is impossible! I mean... An accomplice? It is just too... You're barking down the wrong road. That's not the right ad adage like, adage. Does that really matter all that much? Wrong tree going down the wrong road. I mean, you get it. Even if he They're had wrong. Accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. Wrong again, Soda. That's like 20 for 20. You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Ah, oh, you're right. You're totally right. That's totally it! Except it's totally not. Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. Well, you're in the wrong game now, aren't you, Soda? I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. I, I also feel that way. That's why I want to just rule this as Nagito suicide. I do that. Nobody here has to get hurt. But 
That's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. Bad impression. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Still, that's pretty messed up. So, so zoomy. Shut up. You just be quiet. I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. Incorrect. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Uh, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. You are all so lazy. I mean, I, to be fair, you are in a very stressful situation where people keep dying and killing each other. But, like, that's- your lives are on the line also at this point. Like, why wouldn't you just go the extra step to figure it out properly to make sure that you're right? And we probably just didn't notice it. Like, maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade. Fire. More, more, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, hello? <gasps> oh, he did get it. Somehow I poked him through the camera. Through my computer screen. Poke, poke, poke. Well, what is this feeling just now? This feeling that I had, like, an hour ago. No, like, 40 minutes ago. Oh! I think that the poison was put into the fire grenades. Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of light running through the back of my head. Maybe what Akane said just now might be a new clue. From there, I might be able to reach the answer. The way Nakito brought the poison, which means the thing he used as a container was... Don't do Hangman's Gambit. I hate these and it's gonna be so difficult. Fire grenades. I just let these go. Eep. What do I need? I need an N. Fuck. Oh god. Done! Whew! I'm so nervous in my life. I see. Just, sorry, I, I was just focusing. Huh? The fire grenades! Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. Oh, one of them? I was thinking all of them. He could, and then that way, I guess if it could be one of them. And then we just, we wouldn't know who the killer was. Because I guess you, when you throw them. But that seems like awfully risky, right? If there's like, say there's like 10 fire grenades and maybe they only take five and they only throw five. Then what if, what if you don't? You know, actually get the one with the poison in it. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? I thought it would be all of them. Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. So I thought it would be all of them, so then like all of them would be killers. But I guess this way too, you could have like one person be the killer, but like there's no way of figuring out who it is. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long See? as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse. There's like 15 of them. 16 of them. It can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. 
You really think Nagito brought one though? I I like my idea better. That bastard. God. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. I hate Akune's confused face. Which means did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but the canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. Oh, well, you guess what I happened to find. Seal and swap the insides, right? Yep. The, that is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? Hajime, could it be? So if that's so, what then that there's is no from. mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible. Miss Sonia just said so right now. What? No. Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? But it would contain a clue that. Oh. It's the. Well, this thing. I can prove it with this. Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. N no, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on there that fire go. grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. Yeah, maybe the gas mask and the gloves would be a giveaway too. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed too. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? No, he used them to go snorkeling. Of course he used them when he put the poison inside the fire grenade. It's a dangerous poison after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. This island really is everything. You can just find whatever the hell you want. So what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! Y you're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. Please tell me I'm right. See, I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. They're also stupid. But I'll, I wonder if Sonya remembers like how many fire grenades there were. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. An unwitting accomplice. You, you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. Okay, let's get to the horrifying truth. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? I guess. Is one fire grenade enough for for one bot for, for one sorry is the bottle of poison like the amount that was missing enough to only fill one fire grenade i guess if there was one only one aluminum seal what the hell do you still want to keep going is this not settled there is no denying that nagito's death was a suicide but still i feel like that's that's risky on Nagita's part to only put in one fire grenade. No, it's not. J Jockey? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. One of y'all killed him. The horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. The moment the fire grenades are brought and the moment Nagito breathed in the poison were the same? Would that be the moment when we all threw the grenade? I see! Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. There it is. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? And there we go. And here we go. H hold on a sec. 
the Nahito was, it would mean he didn't kill himself. What the heck? You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! And then we said, whoops, we were wrong, things. Like, come on. The, then who killed Nagito? That's the thing, I don't know if it's possible to figure this out. You mean, who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? I mean, Nagito did. Huh? The person who prepared the fire grenade was... I see! It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? Nagito? Oh. I see! That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? It's not the same question. The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? The reason Nagito set the warehouse on fire to make someone throw the poison. I see! What? I thought we just answered this. Don't tell me, eh? He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? Did we not just go in like a big couple of loops? Because we just established that one of us threw- Like he prepared the fire grenade with the poison and then one of us threw it to put out the fire. And so therefore he put the fires to make us- To make one of us throw- the poison fire grenade. Well, hello? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously I'm asking you who threw it. We don't know. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Oh, I guess... No, one of them, they, he could have filled it with the same amount to make it weigh the same. Huh? Could, could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. Which is fucked up. And for that reason, he put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Again, I still think that that's... Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. I still think that that's risky. Because there's always a chance they grab the wrong one. What? What the hell? Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? He did say that he wanted to be a stepping stone. To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. So technically Monokuma could know because of the cameras, right? But... The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, oh Nagito, God. who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. So messed up. And then... He let go. Yeah, I was, so I was right. He did let go because true. he died. You can't say the poison was the cause of death. It might be the poison's fault he let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. God, we're really getting into, like, semantics That's now. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body. It was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved! Look at Nagito. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces! For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, yeah. that is when you find 
finally taste the spare. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. I still like my theory better, where the poison was in all of the fire grenades, but... Not all mysteries can be solved. That's just dark. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. Nagito's 100% like Monokuma's like, favorite child, like the teacher's pet. That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. I, I am so sorry. Oh, Sonia. Oh, yeah. that's not the fucking issue here. It's not M Miss Sonia's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. I impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Yeah, so what happens now? Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? That's right. There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras. If Monokuma doesn't know, this trial doesn't count. Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. Uh-huh. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times. I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya. What the fuck? And one of those visits seemed to take a while. That's gross. P please stop! I will never become queen! <laughs> How can you... No. So chill. I mean... How can you have such an awful power? Bad Kazuichi, no. So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is. What? We have to guess? He says. How the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? No, it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably... Hajime? There's one way, I think. Oh, this I'm interested in because I can't, I don't know how. Really? Hey, is it all right if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Is this closing Hajime? statement? Please. No, right? That's right. It doesn't mean the trial is over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagito, I should be clear what kind of trap he set. Then I have to do it, even if it leads to despair. I got it. Let's do this then. Oh shit, it is closing argument. Oh fuck. Right before switching the poison. It's math go here, we already have that one, so. It's not at the break room. This one. Okay, and then what's. Be on the Monokuma panel? No, because it's there. You support the spear. Uh, actually... This is the lighter, right? Turn up, how do you use the spear? In order to- oh god- oh, look at the face! Oh, that's so scary. She ready. God, just seeing like seeing the comic and seeing him do it is just ooh. Just freaking scary. Clear the lid. Tie the burned rope. Uh that was. Oops, I let go card Nagito appears at the restaurant. Spears dangling. I don't know if that's right or not, but hmm. reason we went to the warehouse was cord. Um...
this. Oh, okay, it is that. It's because he didn't have duct tape. I love how all of us are the mystery killers. It's so fucked up. Uh, how do you zip it? Mm, zip that. Poison from the shadow grenade. And then... What's this? So... What? I don't know. Oh, not good news video message? Interesting. I don't know why that's really relevant, but sure. Um, how do you support the spear? And then... Uh, it's poison. Oh, Here's that's it. That happened in Here this we case. go, boys. The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim. Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Shut. Whoosh, snug. Like a webcomic. Using web -comic. a gas mask that he got from the military base. Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence, the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory. And put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we okay. were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. Did I even look at this panel? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the lighter. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. Really crazy. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. Imagine if he had just accidentally let go. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. This is the most fucked up First, part. he covered his mouth with duct tape. And after making sure he was unable to scream... Oh. He stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. So messed up. I don't know how you could keep your grip if you're being stabbed, like, here, like... Finally. Uh. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. Shoot, this guy. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. Who's the one holding the person in the... You see, uh, maybe it's me and Chiaki. That's my guess. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. Panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Without Shocked by the sudden fire, 
We rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. What if the lighter didn't hit the curtain and like set it? That'd be crazy. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The thing is, though, if it was only one grenade, then wouldn't the other fire grenades have at least had some effect on the fire? Because the fire didn't go out at all until the sprinklers came on. But, like, if, you know? So, like, four of them would have, four or five of them would have still at least had whatever fire dousing chemical is in there, right? The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Oof. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. Oh god, the red this eyes. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity... This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? That's... yeah. Uh, um... Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? Are you saying you just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is... probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito... really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. It's going to be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. What if he tried to make sure it was Hajime? But again, there's no way he can do that. Because that's not something he can- he can't control who grabs what fire grenades. And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. What Nagito believed in? His talent. I see! He said that he, he most of all, he believes Nagito in his luck. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. After all this time we've spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So, it's definitely going to be alright. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. Is that even true? When has anybody used their talent? Apart from Nakito. And I guess, like, Teru Teru, sure. Ibuki, when she did her music thing. Uyuhiko kind of? He's that's just kind of his personality too. Chiaki kind of did with like the arcade machine with the the one death game thing. Like 
Oh, I guess soda. Soda's done a lot as the mechanic. Gundam with his hamsters. But like everyone else is just kind of like, eh. But in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. Oh yeah, that. It wasn't life threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger. So, you really did it. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monomi said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. Th that You only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving. But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. And he did the same thing with the first killing happened at the old building near the hotel. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. That's right, I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You, you just relied on your luck? And it's a long time since I've done his voice. It's not just luck. It's true, my talent is trash, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? I mean, I feel like a lot of people would kill to be that lucky. Huh? I'm left with the red mark? <laughs> for someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty just like I wanted. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought... It was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. Huh? He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. No. There's no way. I mean... This is Nagito we're talking about. What, what did he do? You know, he wasn't just after anybody. He was after me? He Hajime? probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Oh, the traitor? Know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean, he left his plan to luck? That's so... I guess that does fit. I forgot about that part. He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? Well, it's either Hajime or it's the traitor. No, I don't even have to ask. Oh. I see! That's it? The traitor? Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. But like, even when he died, there's no way he would have been able to be like, Oh, so it's you. Then... What he said in his video message... Was a lie. It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So he was just bluffing. That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Then it's just as Nagito said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed in what Nagito said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. The reason this took so damn long, was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. That's true, too. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! Yeah, Nagito is pretty fucked up, isn't he? It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. But like, even the traitor wouldn't know that they were the one who picked up the poison grenade, right? That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. 
So Nagito was saying that he's no, but he then we just said that that was a lie. I'm just wondering how the journal factors into this. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you gonna do? Are you guys gonna believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know who he was aiming for. It sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but the only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? What happens if the votes are all for a tie? Like you, everyone votes for one person. I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Shiaki? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it. Uh-oh. Because they weren't created to do that. Ch Chiaki? Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? What? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Is it Chiaki? Because she put her notebook on. Oh, was I fucking right? Because I actually believed it when she put her notebook on. Come on, game. I just didn't I say I'd not make the cool secondary character like the... Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? Everyone else is too dumb to be the traitor. A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Oh, come on. Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Oh. Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. Oh, he's got like a little tear. No! He didn't say you're the only one. It's... You? Chiaki, you're the traitor? Aw, oh, come on! Please! Hold on! Ah, uh, you totally guessed right. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the Future Foundation to hide among you all is me. Damn it. Why? This is... I mean, this nonsense is... Why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki. Are you being serious right now? Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey, what are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up to now... Ah. tricking us? So she's the only one capable enough to do it. That's why it's like... I'm not like super surprised. I'm upset. I'm not like super surprised. Because it's always like the character you think is like... Who's been the coolest and like the... Like least suspicious, you know? Up until now. And she's like... She was- she used to be talking about, like, always wanting to prevent a killing, and, like, she- Oh, she never really seemed to have, like, a set, like, family life? Like, her stories about, like, her past and stuff never really seemed, like, super sure, or, like, they actually happened. We were not tricked! After all, we have been working together all this time! 
We have been helping each other all this time. But yeah, I'm wondering like how is she the traitor? Like what has she been doing to be Chiaki, So being a traitor, being a member of that horrifying future foundation. That is obviously a lie. Please wait. The future foundation isn't what you think it is. Shut the fuck up. We're talking to Chiaki. Uh, but that's a pretty important statement that just came from Minomi. So Fuyuko, why don't you shut the fuck up? No, I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote. H hold on! We're not satisfied yet. If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot vote until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? Yeah, why would you reveal yourself at all at this point? It's weird, isn't it? Waiting until right now to out yourself. And then it's like... It's definitely mm -hmm. strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Huh? Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? Because the Future Foundation isn't... From wh what I remember of the first game, that's not the, what was the cause of this. It was like the ultimate despair, people, right? Favor? Who caused the tragedy me? and all that? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. Oh, no. What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? Oh, look, he's so upset. I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. I don't like this. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. Oh, And also, this is super sad because I chose Chiaki as, like, one of the... One of the people that I max out my, like, hope fragments with, and he's like, oh, once we get out of here, I want to, like, take Chiaki places and, like, do all that. Oh, I... There's no way I can do that. Oh, I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. So, please. <laughs> Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. So something with the notebook, then. This is the only thing left. just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... She's not disguised at all! Because Chiaki isn't the traitor. Monami? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all. Is this Monami trying to save her? Hey! Are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I've always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Whatsoever? Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? Oh god, there's more. Damn it. Ch Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. Monomi and Chiaki's relationship. Proving it here, is that the only way? Panic talk action? Oh, shit. Hajime, you stupid face! Let's all get along! Forgot I, I had to do one you. of these. Let's all get along! First open and miss! I can't lose! Hajime, you stupid face! I won't let you! First open and mix! Ah! What are my buttons? I'll lower your grades! Disappear! Hajime, you stupid face! Let's all get along! I'll lower your grades! You stupid face. Let's all get along. Oh, Jackie and I aren't. Oh, no, Miss Notebook. This is the end.
When we investigated Nagito's cottage, I discovered a notebook with a new Sami logo on it. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right! Since I knew something like this would happen, I made sure to bring it here today. Oh, uh, so sudden? Give me that notebook. Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Mano Kunuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. Huh? What is this? Is this Monami's diary? Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Nagito wouldn't know either. However, it's different for me. You know? Wait, why? It took me this long, but I finally understand. No, the truth is I might have already known the moment I found this notebook. It's just I wanted to turn my eyes from the truth it contained. But now I clearly know. I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. Then the one who wrote this is... Chiaki, no way. Someone connected to Monami. Meaning, it's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would you know who the traitor is from that? Because there's an entry written in here that only me and one other person would know. Oh. The topic we discussed in that entry... Oh, fuck, I don't remember. Future goal, Jabberwock Island. Final dad room. Uh, I don't remember what it is. It was the Jabberwock Island, not really. The final dad room was a thing, but then Nagito was there too. Also, was it? I think it was this? In the notebook, there was a specific entry. Yeah, the we've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go in the final dad room today. Probably be panicking because no one believes him. There it is. It's true. I tried it's true. to go inside Yeah, the no final one knows room. that. But the only one who knew that. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's that's where the exit should be. We did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. You can't do that. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's right. The only person who knew that is... Chiaki. And she told him not to go in, so she probably knew what was there. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, if Chiaki is the traitor, what was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie too? Miss Sonia. Chiaki is... She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. I really feel bad for Sonia. Sonia always believes in people. I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bombs without saying a word, took her handbook out of her pocket. Huh? And without hesitating, swiped the card reader. Mm. Looks like it was wrong. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the traitor's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She... she knew? That is a mistake! That must be a mistake! Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? Well, of course not. Of course not! I will not believe it! 
I refuse to believe Chiaki is a traitor. There is just no way. I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe it, but... Then nobody will be saved. Oh, what? I have to make an argument? This, this trial is still going. I'm gonna guess it's the notebook. Chucky is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't Chucky use the card reader right away? He did. If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chucky would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me. Me, when I tried to detonate it. Unless you know a whole lot about bombs, there's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. I don't, I don't want to believe it, but I have to move forward. I have to move forward toward the path she's showing us. May I look at my bullets again? Chucky is not the traitor. Oops. Uh. Yeah. Sonya's account, Monokuma's account. Monokuma's account is about the notebook. He never revealed that to anyone. Oh. Monomi knew. And she could have told Chiaki. When we were trying to turn off the bomb. Didn't Chiaki use the- If she's a traitor, she- There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not! The only person who knew it was a fake was... Me! When I tried to detonate it! Unless oh god damn it, that was bombs. annoying. Okay, I should've There's just- no way you know if it's fake I tried to it. shoot the white noise, and then the white noise didn't show up, and then I tried to shoot it, and then the white noise showed up, and it's just- hang on a sec. Chiaki is not the- When we were trying to turn- Didn't Chiaki use the- If she's a traitor, she- Hamster voices. No way Chiaki, or not the only person who knew it was a fake was me when i tried to detonate it there we go that's not it oh he said that's not it not no that's wrong oh so sad that's not it sonia shouldn't have been the only one who knew it was a fake monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real you said so yourself is that true Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because... If I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I did not want to hear that! Oh, goodness. One more of Enough these? already. Please do not say another word. I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Where's Sonia? Sonia. And just because she knew the bomb was a fake does not mean we should decide she is the traitor. One more rebuttal showdown. Uh... Let me think about what it could be here. I guess there's no way of really knowing beforehand, but... That does not prove Chucky is the traitor! If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too! Why? After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Sure. Sonia, she's panicking pretty badly. I won't have enough words if I counter her right away. It might be best to wait for Sonia's words. Oh, I have to wait Even for her. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Advance. Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. Yeah. 
There was someone other than me and Monami. No. Well, Monokuma said it wasn't so. That someone is Monokuma. Oh, okay, yes. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably said it was fake beforehand. <laughs> okay, that is right. Oh, he didn't even say anything this time. He's speechless. You're right. Monokuma probably knew the bomb was a but fake. But he didn't tell anyone. But Monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either. Then, where did Nakito obtain the bomb he used? I wonder. If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fakes. I, I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you all for the first time. Phew, I feel relieved. Th that... Monokuma may have just been lying. No, he won't lie at times like this. You already know that. Uh, Hajime, are you going to believe Monokuma over Chiaki? But Chiaki is also telling us that she's the traitor. That's not it. It's just, even if Chiaki is the traitor, is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. Are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? No, I think you entrust your lives to Chiaki at There's this no point. There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you that's not it. We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Yeah. Huh? It doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. Oh. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. Sad. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Because this is different from what happened before. Oh, what happened before? Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. Oh. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Are you telling us to believe in you and sacrifice you? That is just too cruel. It makes me. It's just. I don't. It reminds me a little bit of like the the feeling behind Gundams. I'm sorry, Ch Chihaki, Monami. I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this, but still, I want to protect everyone by any means. Bro, why is the traitor always like? Wanting to help us in the end. It's like not much of a traitor, huh? And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. Cause like at least with Sakura, oops, spoiler, but at this point, yeah. Uh she was given like the task of actually like starting the killings, even if she didn't really do that, but like there was like a reason to her being the traitor. But what's Chiaki's reason? It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. What? Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I know. It's voting time, right? Uh, hey, Chiaki. You don't have to worry. Believe in me. And cast your vote. God damn it! Why did it end up like this? Sad days. Sad times. Oh, that's the end? Oh, yeah, I did pretty good on this one. I got an A! not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Emptiness. Loneliness. Sadness. But most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But even so, I have to move forward. If we believe in the person who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking and believe with as much hope as possible on what lies ahead.
Man. She couldn't even make me do it. And the fact that she's just like smiling at you so gently. Even so. Oh. Sad days for Barrington Bears. I don't even know what. There it is. Man, I'm pooped. Let's go ahead and announce the result. The traitor from the Future Foundation and Nagito Komaeda's killer is... Tiaki Nanami! Damn it! Are you serious? That was correct? Yeah. The fact that Chiaki was a traitor, the fact that Nagito's crime depended entirely on his luck. Everything was true. Damn it. Plus, plus, that means that bastard managed to pull it off. Congratulations, everyone. Oh, don't do so. Don't say that. Damn it. Stupid. We're not celebrating at all. Damn it. Yaki, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? Uh, that is... I cannot believe it, even though I do not want to believe it. There is no choice but to believe, right? I'm sorry. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner. But I couldn't say it no matter what. Cause... I can't betray the Future Foundation. Can't betray? Well... Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? What if she's not, like, a real person? Like, was she just... Right? Because, look like, what I said about her and her past. Like, it seems like it was all told to her, right? Did they just, like, make her or something? And it's, like, in her programming? Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? Even if you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um... It's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I will never be able to betray the Future Foundation. What the heck? But in the end, you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. <laughs> You're right. Why? Now's not the time to be laughing. Well, but strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. In fact, I am somewhat happy. I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why I feel proud of my actions. Uh. You're still saying things I don't get, but if we ask you anything, you're just, you're just not gonna answer, right? Like if we ask why you were in the Future Foundation and stuff. I'm sorry. That is- e Even if you were a traitor, you never betrayed us. Yaki. You will always be our friend, even now. We don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. So the traitor was revealed, and Chiaki lost. In the end, it all went according to Nagito's plan, huh? Like... Uh, about that. Is that really Nagito's goal? Is it really okay to say he was trying to find the killer and eliminate them? If so, isn't it strange? Strange? No. I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> -hoo -hoo. You've raised a good point. That's exactly it. Even though Nakito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? Yes, indeed. Congratulations! You successfully stopped Nakito's plan. I mean, Nakito's plan was to reveal the traitor. <laughs> and kill everyone else besides the traitor. Kill everyone else besides the traitor? Are that you serious? Was Nakito's goal? Huh? Why would he do something like that? Of all the to form a plan that only the traitor would survive. <sighs> Is that bastard really that twisted? Nope. It's okay. Uh, okay, what? Well, I mean, it's not just Nakito's fault. If the circumstances had been different, he probably wouldn't have taken things so far. Ch Chihaki. You really are a kind-hearted person. Hmm. Huh? You think so? <laughs> Ease, I wonder where you got your personality from. Perhaps. Oh, she has? Oh. Maybe our dad and our big brother, don't you think? Hey! hey. Come on now! Hey, don't go talking about your family all of a sudden. That's totally ripping off Teru Teru. I can't lose! 
then I, I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else, even if I know it's a fight I cannot win. I must try to retaliate. Huh? Huh? Retaliate? Oh. I will no longer let you do as you please. This stupid! Stop! What are you doing? As they say, we shall die together! What is happening? What? She's self destructed? What'd you say? What is. What's going on? Huh? Manukuma, like, dead. No, no! I'm not dead. Ah! Whoa! I knew one fucking came out. Phew. Phew! Man, that surprised me. If only I didn't have a spare, I would have died. I can't lose! Not yet! I'm not done yet! The hey, bats. wait. Again? <laughs> if I don't beat you, ugh, nobody can live in peace! Stop it, I say! I'm sorry, I lose! Forgive me! I've never seen him panic before. Again. Hey, hey! Not yet! <laughs> so seriously, stop it! If you don't stop right now, it's all going to be destroyed! I won't forgive you! Oh, it's not the right voice. Of course, I'm doing it so you'll all be destroyed. I will be the one to protect my students. I won't let you. I will protect them with my life. But Monomi, you... Hey, hey. Now then, how many of you are still... How many of you are still there? You might as well come out all at once. I mean, Monomi is pretty beastly, if you think about her. She's able to be like the... What are they called? The mono beasts? Ooh, um, how, how many? Not that much. Just around 10 to the power of 60. Huh? What did you say? What? One million? One million? Hmm. One, ten, one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, one million, one billion, one trillion, one quadrillion. Jump ahead. Ten to the power of fifty-two, ten to the power of fifty-six, and then ten to the power of sixty. That's ten to the sixtieth power. <gasps> uh. Uh. Uh-huh. After all this, you're still joking around. You sure have quite the daring spirit. Too bad. Except I'm not joking. <laughs> what are you even saying anymore? Didn't you see that scene? <laughs> While you're doing this, my clones are continuously and endlessly created. In the Monokuma ma Manufacturing Facility. Shit. That's wrong. Well, what? Those were just stuffed animals. That's right. I checked them with my own hands. They're just plushies. D damn it! You're just bluffing. Monomi, finish him off. Hey! Even um... if it's just a plushie, as long as you give it Monokuma's personality, it becomes a fully developed Monokuma. What did you say? There's no way that's possible. That's not even magic. <laughs> magic, huh? Hoo-hoo. Ooh. Could, could it be? Have you already obtained that much power? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hold on. If you bring up magic so suddenly, we're going to be so confused. Unless you mean magic in a technological sense, we won't understand this at all. Hey, hey. Oh, what's going on? Don't tell me. They're not going to call this magic or something. What is happening? Hmm. Well, I don't care how you interpret it. In the end, even if Monami risks her life or does whatever, it doesn't matter to my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong! <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking. So how about this? This overwhelming despair? Does it make you dizzy from excitement? What's this? And how many mon monomies are left to challenge my army of 10 to the power of 60? <gasps> uh, uh, <laughs> you don't have to say anything. I know. Let's see. You just have ten more left, right? Oh, did we see them in her house? With the copies? I know everything! I am the conqueror of the new world! I can't lose! I won't give up, even if I have no chance of winning, I... It's okay, Monami. Hmm? Huh? Well? It's not about giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Let's believe in everyone, and leave the rest to them. That's so, so sad. I... But... but... Right? Damn it. What the hell is going on? Um... I, I do not know for certain, but the only thing I could say is... 
Please listen. Monokuma is an enemy of the Future Foundation. Like, does that mean there's another organization that's our enemy besides the Future Foundation? This is bad. We're in this situation because we're caught up in a dispute between two organizations. Damn it. Okay, that's it. Let's just leave that talk for later. <laughs> because, 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 because it's killing time. Because the punishment time's gonna start. Uh, well, hold on, just a little more, just a little more time. Shing. To wait or not to wait, that is the question. But which will cause more despair? That's the real question. <laughs> if you think about it, you'd know, right? There's no way I'd wait. But, but I haven't... I'm sorry. I haven't said goodbye. I'm sorry, Hachime. Regardless, there's nothing else I can say. I'm not allowed to say anything more than I already have. N not that, I... Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Special bleeding service! Ah, for Monomi too! Huh? Why, even Monomi? Hmm. It's just a two-for-one special. I could have killed that thing anytime I wanted since she's not a student. And also, I don't need anybody that will defy me anymore. Uh-huh. Ah, also, I remember now. <laughs> I'm Sorry. an only child. That is... W what is that? Hmm. It's okay. Even if I'm here, I'd just be a burden anyway. And not just that. <laughs> I've decided to believe in everyone. You guys... I'm sorry I'm about... sorry about so many things. I'm sorry for interrupting you. I'm sorry... for lying to you. I'm sorry... I couldn't protect you to the very end. Oh, man. Just one last time. Let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Cause, you yourself are your biggest supporter. If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Love, love. Love, love. Oh, that's so Whatever. sad. It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. It's true. It's absolutely true. Oh. Because I know. Bye bye. Please don't forget about your teacher. It's, oh, the fact that they're like smiling and going to. Very, uh, I don't know, got a lot of Gundam let's feels. Give it everything we've got. Then let's. It's punishment time! Then let's proceed with high spirits. This is the very last punishment time. Here we go. I don't even want to know what this is. You too, Monomi. Oh boy. A tank? The tank? Really? Oh, it's like the, oh, the old timey, kind of like a Galaga. What? Oh, there's no way though. Did they just run into a kill box? Tetris- oh my god, that's so mean. Using Tetris to kill someone?
back. Even until the very end, I couldn't look away from Chiaki's final moments. Without realizing it, I had fallen to my knees. Feeling of powerlessness spread through my body. It's over. It just had to end. Or I could ask what I needed to ask. Or I could say what I needed to say. Chiaki vanished before my eyes. And I couldn't even tell her thank you. If I had said that, would she have been comforted a little? Oh, I'm going to cry for a second time. If she was as executed as the traitor, would she have been comforted a little? I don't know. My chest just hurt. I don't believe it! <laughs> what a drama queen, Monokuma. Good gracious, that was such a big surprise. As for Chiaki, she regularly took on the role of point man during the class trials, as did Nagito too. What? And not only was she the traitor, she was Nagito's killer, too! Phew. Oh well, don't worry about it. There won't be any more situations where you'll need to rely on them. Huh? Wait, what does that mean? Hmm. Now that the annoying rabbit is gone as well, all of the obstacles that have been keeping us stuck on this island are completely gone. Hey. Uh, are you serious? We can really leave this island? I shall now present! Yup, congratulations! With this, I shall announce the end of the killing school trip. For you five who've survived up until now, I shall give you the right to graduate! <sighs> Thank you for all your hard work. Are, are you really okay with that? Hmm? Hmm? What do you mean? There are still two days left. If you were acting like your usual self, you would be setting things up so another killing happens right away. <sighs> You're right. Stop it! What are you saying? What if Mr. Monokuma changes his mind? Also, you said you five, like you were emphasizing that part. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? That's why you're saying it's the end already, even though there are still two days left, right? Huh? It matters that there are five people left? Yeah. Are you planning to make a vol- Oh god, okay. You need six people for volleyball! You're both dumb. Don't stay quiet, say something. What's your actual purpose? You are an enemy and an enemy of the Future Foundation, so what's your true identity? Hey, um... If the Future Foundation is the world ender, then I will end the new world that the Future Foundation has created. Huh? No, no! Well, you'll just have to look forward to the rest after the countdown ends. <laughs> that timer has almost reached zero. If it reaches zero, everything will end. The Future Foundation's lame plan will be nothing but toilet bubbles. Hey! And um... when that time comes, you'll know everything. You'll see all of your questions answered in one go. <sighs> and then you guys will find out for yourselves just how messed up this new world is. Hey, hey! Huh? A new world? Don't go say a new shit all of a sudden. Yep. Well, just think of the remaining two days until the countdown reaches zero as a bonus. <laughs> While you're at it, you should enjoy your life on this tropical island to the fullest. Because once you leave this island, Ching. your hopeless lives back home will be waiting for you. Ha 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 ha. man. Onokuma's boisterous laughter carried on for what felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The laughter just kept going. Forever. So what we did afterwards, honestly, it doesn't matter at all. Turned to my cottage for the time being and fell asleep. Even after I woke up, my will to move my body didn't come back. That's why. I didn't look back on everything that happened up till now. I didn't think about what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen, and burrowed deep into my sheets as if I were trying to hide. Poor Hajime. In doing so, I was somehow trying to endure the long day. And then the sun finally set. The day feels abnormally long when you spend it praying that nothing happens. Which reminds me. I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess that isn't needed anymore. Everything really going to end? What is everything, anyway? How far, how much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything going to end? There's still so much we don't know. 
about our school memories, the Future Foundation, Hope's Peak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose. Can we really end this and turn our back on all that? And not just that, if we're, re if we're really leaving, then where are we going? To Hope's Peak Academy? That was my last night at Jabberwock Island. At a place where my worries didn't even matter, everything was about to end. It's- oh god, it's an hour left? Eight hours left, nine hours, I can't see numbers. Is there is another chapter? I feel like I had a fun dream. Somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because of that, I was able to face the day with a somewhat happier feeling than usual. That's right, it's the last day. According to Monokuma. Suddenly, my body shuddered. Right when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I had never felt before. A fear like I had been abandoned in this world. Completely, utterly alone. With nobody left on this island. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Sonia. Like everyone was gone and I couldn't find them anywhere. I suddenly couldn't believe in anything, like everything in this world was nothing but lies. <laughs> I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape- What's happening? What? Don't go getting all Doki Doki Literature Club on me, yo. When I left the cottage, I randomly ran into her. Hello there. Excuse me? Ah, uh -huh, good timing. Good timing, what do you mean? See? What? Remember Nakita's video message that we found at the factory? Yeah, when we were dealing with the bomb rockets. What about it? Well, apparently there was more to that message inside that laptop. What is happening? Huh? Yep. We weren't able to see see it until a day or so had passed. Apparently, it was locked by a timer. Hmm. Did he set it up so we wouldn't be able to watch it until after the class trial? W why would he do that? Perhaps... Maybe Nagito planned to leave this as a will. Nagito's will? Ha why is Hachime not concerned with this? What? Where is it? Did, did something get, like, reset somehow? Where is it right now? Um... We were just planning to meet at the restaurant and watch it together. Got it at the restaurant. Hold the phone. What? What? Okay. I'm gonna leave this episode here. Cause how the fuck? What? What? It just like glitched out? It was the last day and then it glitched out and then Chiaki's back? And- but the trial happened still? So then- I assume that there's more to the game, so I'll- I'll- I'll leave this here and see what happens? Thank you so much for watching. I have no idea what- what just went on. Don't spoil it for me if you do know. But, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for notifications when I put out new videos so you can see the end of this clusterfuck. But I love you all. Bye. See you in the next one. Bye.